Mike here. Welcome to the shop and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DCW600 router used with the DPN612 plunge base. They're both DeWalt and let's get after it. So this is the DeWalt DP, DNP612 plunge base here and it has five variable settings um, it works really good let me get the router set up in it and we'll make a couple cuts and show you how I use it when I'm doing my sign okay so when you put the router in you open the lever slide the router in Close the lever on the back, and now it's in there secured. When you're routing, you can set the depths of your cut using this depth gauge. This lever on the back side here allows you to move it up and down so you get the proper depth. And then retract. Now I'm using the Milecraft sign jig, router sign jig, and I have to complete one of the signs so I thought I'd show you how my router works. Let me make a couple cuts and we'll talk about it. My clamp's in the way a little bit, so I gotta move the clamp back.
As you can see, the plunge base works perfectly, especially when you use the permanent stops and the adjustable stop and the depth gauge. Uh, the locking lever works real good. You can see it's smooth. Okay, let's take a look at the letters that I just cut out. April 2022. So that's just a small sample of how I use the DeWalt plunger base. Um, it really does a nice job coupled with the uh, the DODCW 600 battery router by DeWalt. Probably one of the most handy things I use. Now I also do a lot of freehand routing and I use the regular base for that and we'll get into that some other time. But I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate all the listeners. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy. Mike out.